in this situation? Um, honestly, I just want to say, you know, just it feels really good to be back here in the 414. You know, um, this is basically a family. Um, I'm just excited. I'm thrilled. I'm so just uh, lifted with so much energy and joy just to see you guys, you know, <laughs> even though, you know, it's just like we had our things. But, you know, I'm just so excited just to be back and just see everybody. And um, like I said, you guys have always been family to me. How much did 2011 and that team mean to you? Oh, so much. Um, just the, the fact of, you know, just the guys that now looking back and now I'm all done and being able to reminisce those times and seeing these guys out there now. And it's just, it's, everything's a dream come true. And I'm just so glad that these, uh, these gentlemen are able to go out there and uh, work hard and, 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 and do, what they did for the, uh, do what they do for the city of Milwaukee. Can you what tell you us behind the scenes how this came together <laughs> and what you thought when they asked you? Oh, man, I was excited. I was excited. It was definitely Katina. She uh, definitely hollered at me. She hit me up on an email. I was uh, somewhere out in the Bahamas. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and that's when I, I reached out to her and I was like, you know, if they get in, I would definitely, you know, I would definitely uh, throw out the first pitch. What do you think the reaction's going to be? Oh, man, I'm going to juice it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, I'm, I, in my eyes, I don't think I'll ever step back all over the field. And on top of that, just to be able to be out here and, and just to know that this first game means so much just for, you know, for the team's camaraderie and, 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 and what they need to do. So, um, honestly, you know, I'm going to do what I can do just to get it going. You know, I'm going to lead off guys, so I know I can get this going. <laughs> did, you think, did you think about wearing your SWAT helmet? Uh, I thought about it, <laughs> but, you know, um, you know, I'm rocking a little bit of hair now, so yeah, I didn't yeah. want to mess up my flow, you know? <laughs> do, you, do you still follow the team pretty close? Are you watching this year? Um, you know, honestly, this year, when I, when I found out that, you know, Aguilar was having the year he's having, because me and him, last time I saw Aggie was in uh, uh, winter ball while I was playing in Venezuela. And, and, you know, I told him, you know, you know, go out there and, and go do your thing. And, you know, and I met him in, uh, in, in, uh, with, with Cleveland my final year in 2014. And, you know, from then I've been following and piecing up the little things. But, you know, now, you know, understanding what's going on and what was at stake, I started following more. And actually Jim Rome had me on. And I started uh, uh, sometime in the summertime, I believe in June. And I uh, threw a little shot out, and that's when I started uh, paying attention back in really gym. That's when I started locking in. You, you were brought so much energy and just so yeah. many big moments in that 2011 season yeah. series. And this team plays that way, too, you know, just with the, the home run gauntlet. Yeah. And, I mean, just what, what do you think about that, of just, like, this team and how they I mean, celebrate, they play loose, they have fun? I mean, that's the way the game is. I mean, you can just see when you play loose, you have fun, and guys enjoy being around each other, and guys enjoy coming to work. You know, it's a wonderful it's a wonderful experience just to come out there and be out there. You know, you actually want to be out there, you know. So, you know, I was part of losing seasons over 100, 100 games. Uh, and, you know, and those, and, you know, it sucked. But at the end of the day, and coming over here when I came to Milwaukee back in 2011, and, uh, you know, just the fans and the gentlemen that came in and all the guys, they embraced me. You know, that was a, that was a beautiful thing. And, you know, and that's when we went in and we, you know, that we had to do. Have you, have you ever thought much that you're a cult, that you're here a cult hero? Do you ever think about that? It's starting to sink in now. I didn't realize the magnitude, like I said, at the time. I was young, you know, but now as I, you know, as I get older and understanding, you know, how, how just the situation played out and everything is, and, you know, I'm very excited and just how I, you know, just. Have those lot. seven years yeah, flown? Have they flown you, by those seven years? Yeah, they really have, honestly, you know. So I'm just, you know, just embracing life now and just doing my thing. I have a son, he's here, so he gets to check it out. So, you know, I'm excited. My wife's here, so, you know, it's going to be a, a whole family event and a beautiful thing, so I'm excited. How often do you think about that hit oh. from seven years ago? I, right? Uh, right? Jinx. Dude, jinx. I know. <laughs> Personal jinx. <laughs> um, honestly, I, you know, like I said, it didn't really hit me until once everything is over. Now everything is over, uh, you know, I look on YouTube and see it, and it gives me still to this day gives me the chills. And, and now being able to go out here and um, just see the guys and being able to come back is, is very special. How Did you get to watch the highlight? Not all the time, but there was a there was quite a few times where you know I checked it out and uh, I definitely gave me the chills. You remember how you described that hit? Yeah, word? I was so relaxed, and for me the that ball slowed down so much, and I, I just for me I felt like I was supposed to be in that situation and in that moment, and you know I just I 
just nice, relaxed, easy breezy Tony Plush and do what I do. Tickled it, right? Yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so Tony Plush is still very much Oh, alive. God, yeah. I'm here. I've always been here, you know. So that's all. You do other alter egos along the way. Is there a ceremonial first pitch alter ego? Or um, no, you know, that's just, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but, you know. <laughs> We might do something. <laughs> you, you're playing in uh, the Mexican league as, yeah. as recently as last season. <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Are you no. are you completely done? No, I'm all done. Yeah, yeah, that was you know we won the championship back in 2016, okay. and that was my final run. And you know I tried to give it one more go for a little bit, and I was like, nah, then it's time to go home and hang it up. And you know now nah, I got to start a family, and uh, turn the page, and you know get ready for I, I guess being uh, you know Mr. Dad. So. <laughs> You know, and everything is good, and you know, life is good. You know, so living in Miami, Florida now, so and everything is real wonderful out there. Nice. What are you What are you doing? Yeah, hey, property investing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you know, I'm a property investing now, so you know, clustering properties. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> a little shout out. So yeah, you know, you know, I'm doing my thing. You know, I'm very, you know, I'm just very ha happy with life and the way how life has turned out for myself. Awesome. What's your son's name? His name's Nico. Nico, N-I-C-O? Yeah. N-I-K-O. N-I-K-O? Yeah. You know your Nico wife's Plush. name? Uh, Marcy, M-A-R-C-I-E. Awesome. Yeah. How old is he? No, you'll see him, he's a year. Oh. Yeah, he's a year, <laughs> and his birthday's tomorrow, so it's, everything works out, it's, it's like everything, the, the way how just, the way everything lined up for this to happen, it's his birthday, I'm coming back, and I'm just excited to be here, and you know, I'm just very thrilled. Can't wait to just, to step on that field again. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who also knew how to energize this club and our fans. Thank you for joining.